Drive so hard, man, you think it's gonna fly, man. Yo, what is going on, Camp Life, man? And your boy had to grab his daughter's sister, man, to make this video because I want to talk about some stuff, man, that not a lot of people are going to talk about, kind of scared to talk about. And then if they do, they talk ignorant about the situation, man. And what I want to talk about is the four black teens who kidnapped and beat the the mentally challenged white boy. Uh, and I'm going to do this in two different parts, you know what I mean? Because I think it needs to be said uh, about the whole situation in Chicago. Chicago is in a bad spot, man. Right now, their own people are calling this place Chirac, man. There is videos out of police officers sitting in their cop cars recording. And you can just hear gunshots coming off from all different directions. Far out, close up. You know what I mean? And this is on a regular night, they're saying. You know, the death toll came out about Chicago, man. And that's like a fucking war zone right now, man. That's why they call that shit Chirac. So for something like this to happen in Chicago is not really that far of a stretch. You know what I mean, people? It uh, It's really not. So with that being said, man, you know, I look at it as it's not a Chicago problem, man. That's an American problem, uh, an American problem that somehow we need to figure out and uh, get that justified there. You know what I mean? But, OK, so we're going to get into the, the four teens. OK, these four teens, man, are, are being said that they are Black Lives Matter. Well, come on, people. They're not Black Lives Matter people. OK. The real and true Black Lives Matter people aren't the violent ones. They're not the ones you see fucking doing stupid shit. They're the ones behind the scenes, you know what I mean, out at the protests that are actually trying to do the right thing. They're not the ones running around acting stupid, you know what I mean, doing crazy shit. Those are people who are following the, the, the Black Lives Matter protests, you know what I mean, but not really Black Lives Matter people. And, uh... I see this man and they and they got the video and people are saying, you know, what I mean, oh, they're not racist. You know what I mean? Because they're black. Well, listen up, man. I'm here to tell you I've been around black folk. I've been around white folk. I've been around Spanish people. There is racist people in every fucking uh, ethnic background, man. You know what I mean? If if you don't believe that you're a fucking idiot. Oh. Uh, you know, and I may, I'm gonna get some hate on this video, man. You know what I mean? And I understand that. And like y'all know, in my subs, I could give a fuck less. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna speak 100 what I believe all the time. You know what I mean? So, do I believe these kids were racist? Yeah, yeah, I do. When they scream "fuck Trump," do I believe it had anything to do with politics? I mean, absolutely not. Those motherfuckers don't know shit about politics. And the reason I'm gonna say this is because they were fucking dumbasses. They were idiots. Any motherfucker to live stream something like that to fucking Facebook are fucking idiots. And then on that same hand right there, you seeing people on the video comment, you know what I mean? Take this shit down. Stop doing this shit. That's stupid. What the fuck are y'all doing? Everything else. So that lets you know even the people they fuck with knew that that shit was stupid and dumb and wrong. So you know what I mean? To say all, all black people that way. No. You know what I mean? These were black people commenting on there telling them to stop that they were fucking being idiots and everything else. So... You know, in my my thing is, man, with this whole situation and a lot of y'all people mouth going to hit the floor whenever I say this. But I honestly hope that these black kids do not get charged and convicted. And I know I'm going to give y'all a second to like pick your job back up. But the reason I say that shit, man, is. The United States is already in a racial divide right now, man. And if these black kids get charged and convicted with this fucking crime, people are going to fucking shit. 
people are going to go fucking ape crazy. It's going to be riots. It's going to be everything else. More people is going to get injured. More people is going to get hurt. You know what I mean? Whether it's on the black side, white side, police, whoever the fuck it is. And, and I know y'all are like, well, you said black, white, and police. That's right, man. Because I truly believe that the the problem with the police and is not a police black thing. It's not a white black thing. What it is is a police against the the community, man. Because a lot of these cops are out of control, and they got a power struggle. But not all of them. So you know what I mean to say that the police are fucking against us that's wrong that's like saying every black person is is ignorant because of a couple every white person is racist because of a couple but the reason back to the topic the reason i said that i don't want to see these kids get convicted man is can you imagine the hate that is going to come out of this if they do where cops have got off for for doing more killing somebody on camera and everything else and they were not convicted you know what i mean not even charged you know so when i said that shit i meant you know what i mean i just hope that it's not one of those issues where more people get fucking injured more people get hurt you know what i mean i'm an asshole and i'm a fucking savage you know what i mean but that is going to bring a racial tension that we already have and we don't need right now. You know what I mean? A lot of people know that there's a sub of mine, man, that I am married to a black woman. Okay. I raised a black daughter. You know what I mean? A beautiful daughter. My princess and my angel. You know what I mean? And I have black friends. I have white friends and I have Spanish friends. You know what I mean? I'm an equal opportunity type of motherfucker. You know what I mean? I hate everybody. And if you're cool, you're cool. But what's going on, man, is you got people, okay, from from the projects who don't deal with white folk on a regular basis. And then you have people from the country, white folk, that don't deal with black folk on a regular basis. You know what I mean? And that's a lot of the the problem you know what i mean it's like if you've never been around black people you know what i mean and your country is fucked like i was raising up you don't realize there's not that much of a difference you know what i mean between us between our culture between the black and the white cultures uh you know a lot of the same values i was raised up with is the same values that that my black friends were raised up with you know what i mean so that's my word on that man i hope everybody had a great christmas and a great new year's man and uh you know what i mean y'all keep it safe man and if you didn't like the video you didn't like what my, the topic i was talking about man go ahead and smash the dislike button and go ahead and unsub but i'm out of here y'all y'all keep those campfires burning man peace out